Father in heaven, I thank you for this day. I thank you for your word. Anointed, let it come forth with power and authority as you use me as a vessel. As you bless your people, O oh God, and caution them and rebuke them and correct them, do not pass me by in Jesus' name. Amen. My name is Florence Minor. Welcoming you to yet another time of celebrate your moment with joy this beautiful day. The title of my message will be, Do My Prophets No Harm? As I said yesterday, I feel I need to continue with this. I don't know for how long I'm going to be obedient to what the Spirit of God has for me and for you. We need to be careful the way we live because there are times we mess up with our life without knowing. And that's why the Bible says that my people perish for lack of knowledge. I am here to, so that we can make one another knowledgeable because you could be making mistakes without knowing. You could be calling for your own downfall without knowing. And the word of God is truth. And the Bible tells us that you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Let us uh, um, see what this truth says in First Chronicles 16, verse 22. Do, do not touch my anointed ones. Do my prophets no harm. As I started by saying yesterday that we respect the servants of God. There are times because you are human, you might find yourself engaging in conversation that is challenging or competing with the servants of God. And do you know because we are anointed even before you are formed in your mother's womb. You, you are still walking, you are eating, you are living with anointed ones of the Lord. And in you know, the enemy would like us be right or be deceived because we do not know this truth. That the servants of God, the anointed ones, are the ones we see there in the pulpit or with a cora. It is not the cora that anoints. It is God who anoints. That's why Jeremiah was told by God, I am chose you, I anointed you, even before you are formed in your mother's womb. That is to say, be careful who, how you treat people. That comes down to treat people with respect, treat all people with integrity, because you could be working with that anointed one. It is like a policeman at a cover. You are working and you are doing things and you are against the law there in your conversation and somebody just tell you, come and you have no idea and then they give you the idea, they remove the ID. They did not have the uniform of a copper, but inside them, they were policemen undercover. Many servants of God are undercover because you do not know them. I want to tell you, the symptoms of when you despise or disregard or disrespect the servants of God is you feel bitterness. You don't have peace. You do not need to go to repent to them. Just go to your daddy in heaven. Go to God in heaven and tell him, forgive me. Forgive me. I did not realize what I did. May the Lord help you and help me so that we can treat people with integrity because you do not know whom you are dealing with. Mm. May the Lord bless you and bless me. Father, in Jesus' name, Help us to take your word seriously. Help us to know the instruction just like we know the, 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 the instruction or the direction of wherever places we are going. In this life we are living, many times we do mistakes without knowing. And that's why, my Father, I am here. I have committed myself to you to give people the knowledge as you reveal them to me. Receive all the praises, receive all the honor. And right now, my Father, in the reason under my voice, I pray that Holy Spirit of God may water this word and they may continue to share it with other people who are not listening or watching. In Jesus' name, amen. May the Lord bless you. Let us continue to share this word and let us continue to respect all people. God bless.